Hello guys, I want to introduce to you for the first time my brand new merch. All the funds will go for buying a new notebook for video editing. You can also support me on PayPal. Every dollar, euro, yuan, rupees counts. I will keep you updated on Twitter and my future videos. And yes, there will be a video of the buying of this notebook. Check the links in the description. And as always, thank you for your support. Now it's time for shopping. Hello again, as I like to say another day another great deal at Shenzhen's biggest smartphone market. This was a very interesting day for me as I went to the market just to look around and end buying a new smartphone. However, let's first look around and see what's new here. These are Galaxy Note 9, currently them price starts from $350, these are second hand devices. Most of these phones come from the US and some are from South Korea. It seems there are many new phones at the market, I saw many new Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus. Their price starts from $380, the condition determines the price. You can find phones with scratches, which are sold cheaper, and you can find brand new devices, which will cost more. I found this seller who was selling Galaxy S10 Plus in perfect condition, the phones were US version from Sprint. I want to mention that these phones are unlocked and they work in the US, Europe and China, no issues with that, I have been testing phones from this market for a long time. Guys, as I was browsing the market, I found one seller who was selling Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. I have to mention that currently there are not many Note 10 devices at this market. The price was good, but I don't like the Plus version, the phone is too big. Then the seller showed me the Note 10, but all these phones were the regular version, not the 5G. The price of the Galaxy Note 10 was $450, this is for the 8 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage. And then the miracle happens, the seller showed me one last phone, the only one which was 5G, but not only was 5G, the phone was South Korean version, and brand new, the protective stickers on the phone was still there. So this immediately took my attention, and to my surprise this was a new updated version that comes with 12 gigs of memory. Galaxy Note 10 5G, which is currently sold in the US and Europe, comes with the 8 gigs of memory. So at that point I had already decided that I was going to buy this phone, the deal was too good to miss. I started to test the phone, everything was working perfectly. The SIM card and the mobile connection, I tested the phone calls, the camera and the display. I also checked for a software update, however this we will complete later in the video. The camera of Note 10 is one of the best, no doubt in that, more testing coming soon. The seller didn't have the box for the 5G version, so she gave me the box and accessories for the regular Note 10. The box was also included in the total price of the phone. And now is the moment that everyone is waiting for, how much did I pay? It was exactly $500, I think this was a great deal, however, let me know in the comments, what do you think, is it worth it? There are already many 5G phones on the market and Shenzhen is the first city in the world with the biggest 5G coverage. Which 5G phone do you think is the best? Now we are at a different market, which is called SEG. I came here to grab a phone case and apply a screen protector to the new phone. Galaxy Note 10 is more sensitive to screen protectors and not everyone will work. 
sometimes the fingerprint sensor won't register properly, so I choose a silicon cover, which I have used before. They do a pretty good job protecting the display. After we are done here, we are going to test the phone, but let's first enjoy the satisfying video of applying a screen protector. Here we go, according to an old tradition, we have to do an unboxing on an already open box. And here it is, isn't it beautiful? By the way, this one is my favorite color, the Aura Glow. Let's see what else we have in the box, the charger, USB Type-C cable and USB Type-C earphones. I have to admit, this is my first Galaxy Note phone which I buy, in matter of fact I didn't like the Note 8 and Note 9. The design of Note 10 is something else, some people like it, others don't, however I personally think it's one of the best looking phones. Now we can begin with the testing of the phone, let's first test the stylus. I think it's pretty cool, however, I am not sure how often I will use it. Before we continue, I want to show you the first Galaxy phone which I bought from this same market and I still use it. This is the Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's first complete the Android update which I started at the market. Galaxy Note 10 still runs Android 9, I hope they will update to 10 soon. I already get an update to 10 on OnePlus 6T. I know some of you will ask if there is a problem if the phone is South Korean version. There is no problem, just the phone was made for South Korean Telecom. It's even better because it's coming with almost no pre-installed apps. Now let's check all the specs with CPU Z. And as I told you, this phone is coming with 12 gigs of memory and 256 gigs of storage. This is one powerful device. Now let's complete some of the basic settings. First will be the fingerprint sensor. From my experience so far, I can say it's pretty fast. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as regular fingerprint sensor. However, I still prefer to be under the display. And actually, I don't use it that often because the face recognition is even faster. When it comes to the camera, Galaxy Note 10 has one of the best sensors I have seen on a smartphone. These are some of the first photos which I take the same day I bought the phone and I can say I am pretty impressed. Guys, you can follow me on Twitter where I post everything which happens around me and of course on Instagram where I will post more photos taken with this phone. That will be highly appreciated, photos taken with the Note 10 are being uploading right now. One thing which I really like on Galaxy Note 10 is the sound quality. Actually, until now I didn't pay attention to this, until I heard the sound from Note 10. It is way better than the most of the current flagships. And of course, the testing won't be complete without benchmark. Let's see what score will get this beast on Antutu. This is pretty impressive, I can't wait to test it with games. One more successful test is wireless charging. Guys, the main reason I bought this phone is to be able to use the 5G network, as the Shenzhen 5G network is growing fast. I will make more testing in the future videos. This is the phone case that I bought earlier. I like this style of crystal clear case, and when the flash on the camera is on, it makes a pretty cool glowing effect. In the next video, I will explore the market for Galaxy Note 10 accessories. I found some pretty cool phone cases, so stay tuned, it's coming soon. I want to show you how you can test every Galaxy phone, especially if you visit the local Shenzhen markets. You have to type that same code you saw on the screen, it's working only on Samsung Galaxy phones. Then you will enter the testing mode. That's it guys, buying Galaxy Note 10 was one of the most requested videos for this year. 
This phone is really something special, I like the design and the stereo sound, the display is one of the best if not the best on the smartphone. I guess there is still time till the end of the year for one more very requested phone, however this is a story for another video. Until then stay cool and as always don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, don't be shy because the end of the year is approaching and if you're shy Santa won't bring you your favorite phone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.